All right, guys, coming at you with another video today on this Sunday. First and foremost, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Um, I just was up helping out my dad. Um, he, uh, he has a, a certain type of lymphoma, so I've really tried to spend a lot of time with him. I know he could live for a long period of time, but I'm just trying to capture those moments with him and he really needed some help with logging and I've been helping him up uh, at, our, at our lake place. And he, we, it's not like a traditional lake place where you, uh, <laughs> you have like, uh, you know, a lakefront and everything. This was built in the 40s. Like there's a lot of work that always has to be done on this before you prepare. We winterize it, summarize it, all that kind of stuff. So I had a great time seeing him. Um, one thing I want to talk about today is a lot of people ask that time frame question. How long does it take to beat anxiety? How long does it take to beat anxiety head pressure? And it's always going to be the answer that no one likes and it, it varies. And most likely it's going to be very long, uh, forewarning you. And what I mean because a lot of people are source, so short-minded that, you know, a few weeks is like a really long time. I'm talking sometimes years. And that might scare a lot of people, but you have to change your lifestyle in order to change. The biggest thing is what the body is telling you is it can't when it's, when you get stressed out, you get headaches, t body tenses up, it's it's exhausted. It's like, I'm. it's just telling you something. It's like, hey, I'm working really hard here and I'm not getting any relief. And the only way to really, you know, signal to you that, that I'm in, uh, I'm not doing well, so I'm going to signal pain. And the pain gets worse, especially the more stressed out you are. The symptoms get crazier the more stressed out you are. And the anxiety gets worse. And so it's really about stress management, a lifestyle change, whether that's diet, exercise. And I've gone over this many, many times, but the more you change, the quicker it will take. You know, I'd have to say I've seen some dramatic changes when I started working out in October for me, for my personal confidence, uh, my anxiety, and especially kind of the days that I'd feel down. Through all this, I really never felt depressed, like deep depression. Um, it was more so kind of like a, a light, and I don't really, I can't really judge the spectrum of depression because that's, that's uh, subjective to the person. But I had, you know, days where I just didn't, didn't feel all there. And I, I don't really feel those days anymore. And that, that feels good. It's more of a consistent, you know, we're doing good. We're doing okay. Um, and, you know, over time it's gotten better and better. And, and, I, and I really appreciate, you know, uh, my buddies that have really tried to help me out. Um, the biggest thing is I, uh, trying to hit a golf ball as far as I can. And, uh, my buddies, uh, that, that play baseball and, and run a gym really are trying to beat me up. So I've been really working towards that and it's been great, you know, working out at 5 AM. I'm just getting stuff done. I'm getting the day started off really well. Another thing is, is really cutting out carbs in my diet. I'm so much more efficient throughout the day as far as my energy levels. I don't have spikes. I don't have crashes at all. I don't take any energy supplements. I don't take any caffeine. I don't drink pop. I don't really eat a lot of processed sugars. I'll cheat here and there. I'm not a perfect eater, but I definitely recommend that. It's just helped me out a lot with the overall mood and being able to get through the day. The other thing too that, that I've found that really, really helps with it it's just being grateful. You know, a lot of these people and a lot of these people that are watching my videos, you know, you get succumbed to, and this is the toughest thing with anxiety and depression for me. It's like, it's so much worse for so many people, but yet they're happier. They're more even keel. You know, they may be way off, way worse financially. You know, they may not have the, the support that I do. And, and a lot of these people that, that have succumbed to depression and anxiety, they have a lot of resources. Um, or they have a lot of resources than others. You know, comparatively, the people watching my video are well better off than a lot of other people in the world that suffer in second and third world countries. I mean, maybe second world countries are watching these videos, but most likely based off my demographics, it's a lot of first world country people. And being grateful for each day and spending each day um, with a little bit of gratitude really, really amplified my um, recovery. 
because it's just like you kind of sit back and you kind of get those chills and you're like damn like it could be so much worse you know it could be you know just more I could have so much more pain or I, I could be uh, you know I could have less food or less amenities and um, you know less time free time that I already have and making less money and, and less financially fortunate you know but it could be always so much worse and that's the one thing that a lot of people don't understand it's like they, they they're so ungrateful for what they have and they're given so much I mean technology has made things put on easy street and we're in those times you know we are we are borderline in a recession I shouldn't say it, the R word right now in the economy wow it's all of a sudden started to rain really hard um, and you know those are tough times for a lot of people and but it still could be a lot worse you know it still could be way way worse and and, and people take that for granted and I want to tell you when you, you, you use that gratitude and you meditate and you really center yourself and you're like damn yeah I really have it really good you know and, and take time to spend time with the people you care about and surround yourself with great people. I lately have just been going out and going out to my club and just, just socializing with people, just talking with people, just meeting people. And that's just like, it makes you feel good as a person, but it's also like networking and finding out other people's stories. I mean, I, I find that cool. I don't know if anybody else does, but I feel like that really, really has helped me in boosting my confidence and my my um, shuttering out my um, insecurities because it really just gives me I can talk to anybody I can interact with anybody just boost that confidence so you're just much better off in public so at, at the end of the day it is subjective definitely it depends on how long it'll take to get through anxiety and if if you you know go all out I think you have better chances of, of being successful in it and if you it's, it's just how much effort you're willing to put in if you're willing to put in the time and the work you'll you'll be much more successful life isn't life isn't easy it is so freaking difficult but you know there's ways to make it a little bit easier to have a little less pain to have a little more energy to really push you through that day to start stacking up those windows and waves for those windows of great feelings and 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 feeling energized are longer and longer and those waves of feeling cruddy are not that great are much much shorter so you guys enjoy happy father's day once again um, i guess now we have juneteenth so i guess if people don't know it's a celebration of the emancipation proclamation um, the ending of slavery which is a obviously a, a fantastic event for u.s history and i have to say uh for people that dog you know are not very patriotic this is a pretty cool event. Um, and I think that that shows the progression of our country. We're not perfect by any means. But, you know, I had to take a moment because, you know, it, it's definitely a, more of a social issue holiday. And I don't want it to become a political holiday either. Because it's, it's simply, it's a cool holiday. It's a patriotic hol holiday on how far we've come as a country. So, hope you guys enjoy. Peace.